So, yeah. In March, during all the WandaVision hype, we learned that the upcoming Marvel CMF in September would be Disney Plus based. Specifically on WandaVision, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, and What If. In April, we learned what figures were coming in the CMF, but notably there was no Agatha, who's one of, if not the main, antagonist of WandaVision. And that's where today's story begins. So, roughly just a month after the premiere of my Westview Final Battle set, I took it upon myself to start production on Agatha. Well, after being convinced by a couple of friends, such as the Brick Patch, Snom Nom, and W Bricks, I'll have their link in the description. At that point, I was ready to announce that Agatha was in progress, and that this was a very exciting time for me. But at this point, I had to ask myself the question, where the hell am I getting this printed? Some I just couldn't afford, and others weren't great, let's put it at that. But then, I stumbled across a godsend, that being Minifig Madness Customs. They make some really great custom minifigs, and I really like their recent John Walker, which I just bought. So huge props to them for everything on this project, and now let's get into the rest of the video. In May, all the parts arrived for Agatha, but the problem was I had to erase every single print on every single head and every single body, which was very time consuming. But the upside to that was that we had our first look at the minifig. Well, I mean without any prints, but hey, it still got me very excited. And we also got to see the Agatha army. At the end of May, I shipped the parts off to Minifig Madness, and I awaited their return. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! What? Everybody just calm down! On the 22nd of June, 2021, two days before my birthday, I received the first images of Agatha. Before I show them, I'd just like to say thank you all so much for the support over the past six months on WandaVision videos, Loki videos, and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You've all just been incredible, and I seriously appreciate it so much. And with that being said, let's get into the reveal. Enjoy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little display there. I'm really proud of it, actually. But anyways, here's the finished product. If you haven't watched any of my custom set videos before, you've probably never seen this figure. Well, it is packed with detail. This Agatha figure has a brand new face print, brand new torso print, and printing on a skirt piece. On the torso, there is so much detail, going from her pendant to highlights under her dress. And yes, she even has back printing. This figure also comes with the graduate cape piece in purple. She also comes in a plastic container with a neat little container card. Suburban Sorceress, which is her non-official name. And finally, I'd like to let you know that this figure is available for purchase. I suppose it's my first merch piece. Anyways, this figure is limited to 24 and there will never be a restock, and plus, already a fifth of them have sold. So if you really want one, go to the first link in the description or Go to custombrickbay.com and search Suburban Sorceress. I really hope you're all able to get one, and if you can't, I'm so sorry, but there will be more minifigs coming down the line that you might like. And here's one of them. Louisiana Hero is the next figure I'm working on, and I'm so excited to see this one in person. And next week's video will be based on Avengers Endgame, and will be my biggest set to date with over 2,000 pieces so far. So anyways, consider subscribing if you're interested in that, and if you liked the video, please consider sharing, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.